Coogan Cash this IFL TV in association with MTK Global. What has happened to you? What's happened to me? Look, can I just... I've just been training, bruv. Nothing happened to me. Look. Wait, wait. No, no, bruv. No, bruv. No, bruv. No, no, no homo. Bruv. Oh, no. Let's bruv. Just, just let me do it. Bruv. What? You're not allowed to touch your titties, bruv. Oh, I'm not going to touch your titties. What? 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 Oh. What? <laughs> 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 uh, you're looking buff, friend. I'm trying, bruv. I'm trying to... At the minute, I'm on literally no carbs, man. I was training. Trying to train hard. Trying to... Cut some weight, trying to get down to just under 18 stones, keeping myself in shape because these punks can only avoid me for so long. One of them must fight me soon, so I'm just making sure I stay in shape and I'm ready. You know what I mean? I'm never gonna, gonna, not gonna be ready when the time comes. All right, before we come on to that, let's talk about August 19th, Nebraska. You're gonna the be city of the corn people. It is. Yeah. Have you seen that film? Yeah. yeah. You know what film we're talking yeah, about? Yeah, of course. It's kid, Children of the Corn. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. You've seen that? Children of the Corn. Malachi. You know what Malachi? Have you, have you seen the Sri Lankan version? No, what happens in that? Children of the Curry. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Children of, uh, chi, idiot. Children of the, the, the lamb, um, what's it called? Madras. Yeah, no, no, not lamb madras. There's, there's a lamb curry. About? There's a lamb curry. Lamb curry. Have you seen Children of the Corn? I don't know how many people have seen that. Of course I've seen Children of the Corn. Yeah. Of course I've seen He who walks behind the rose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you're going to make a debut on the undercard of Julius and Dongo against Terence Crawford, your US debut. So you must be pleased about that, your first yeah. time out in America. I'm pleased, you know what I mean? I, um, you know, everything is about preparation. I mean, this is just preparing me and just, I'm just adding another, another brick to the wall, man, you know what I mean? Fighting away. Um, you know, I'm not having the home crowd behind me and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And preparing myself so in case I have to travel for the world title. So I don't mind, you know what I mean? It's a great experience, you know? Definitely. Um, Opponent-wise, what are you going to be doing? An eight, ten rounder? What? what? I want a ten rounder, yeah. but it's a little bit difficult when you fight away because they just give you a slot on these cards and then it might end up being an eight, but I prefer a ten. I would like a ten and I'd like to fight for the WBO International title. I think Eddie's trying to get that, I mean, trying to get up the ranks. You know what I mean? I'm chasing Wilder and Parker at the minute. They both don't want it. So I'm just trying to get further and further up the ranks so they have to fight me. Okay, let's talk about uh, Joseph Parker first. Well, obviously, he's fighting Huey Fury 23rd of September in Manchester. So his next fight is that fight. Mm -hmm. What is the situation with Deontay Wilder? We know that obviously Eddie's put offers, three offers so far. I don't know if it's a full, there's been a fourth one that's gone there or not. Uh, we've heard figures, three million plus US TV. What more can you tell us? At the minute, it stands at about four and a half million million dollars, and this man made nine hundred thousand for his last fight. Four and a half million dollars compared to nine hundred thousand. A fight, come on, four and a half million dollars. Listen, Deontay Wilder is a coward. You know what I mean? He's he's the coward of the county. You know what I mean? He's the coward of Alabama. You know what I mean? He's a proper coward. He he's like. The Ante Wilder is just, he's just a bully. You know why you know the Ante Wilder don't want to fight someone like me? Because he's a bully and I can't be bullied. That's why I don't want to fight someone like me. I cannot be bullied. I refuse to be bullied. So that's why I don't want to fight someone like me. Because whatever he brings to the table, I'll be there in front of him all night long. And he knows this. And there's a good chance of him fighting me. I'll knock him out. He knows that. You know what I mean? The, the, the problem with these guys is they're a disgrace to boxing. They're a disgrace to boxing. You know why they're a disgrace to boxing? They're scared to lose. Everyone is scared to lose. They're scared to have a competitive fight that they look bad in. They just want to fight old guys, our guys who's passed it, our guys who they know 80% you're already going to beat this guy. You know, oh, look, look at Mohamed Ali. He's had losses in his record. Joe Frazier had losses in his record. Josh Foreman losses in his record. Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson. All these guys have losses in their record. Why? Because they fought good fighters. And that's why they lost. But they're still legendary because of the fight. Thomas Hearns. He's lost, but he's lost to good fighters because he fought good fighters and gave the people. People have said, "Oh, Thomas Hearns lost. We're not going to support him." That's why these guys are, are coward and, and afraid of, and, and scared of that. You know what I mean? They don't want to fight our fights that they're going to lose. You know, because they 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 just it, it's it's sickening, it's sickening. You know, there's guys that talking that say they want to fight, then they don't want to fight, and then these guys that just don't want to fight. I'm ready. I'm I'm here. I'm ready to fight. I will fight anyone, as long as it makes sense and the money's right. I will fight anyone. You know. So, I mean, what's the last conversation you had with Eddie regarding, obviously, we know you're fighting on uh, that 19th of August, mm -hmm. Bill, but after that, what have you been told about date-wise and then potentially who, who it could be? As it stands, I want to get out August. 
I didn't get out end of September. End of September. Did you say you want to get out in, in August? You're a wanker. What did you say? I didn't you're hear what you said. What did you say? You're a wanker. You want, to, you, want to, you want me to smash you up in here? You can't. Excuse me, can you close the door, please? No, no, you stay there. Right? You, say, uh, <laughs> you stay there. Uh, uh, what did you say? Oh, August. August. I thought you said Argos. I'm Jamaican. In, no, but I thought you meant the shop. I don't Argos. take the piss out the way you speak. How do I speak? You say, I bloody Argos, innit? I don't say bloody Argos. <laughs> 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 no, you just want to put on this accent. Uh, no, I, I, I speak you... in a real accent. What? Speak. <laughs> <laughs> What? 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 <laughs> no, I thought you said you were going to Argos. No, no, like, no. What's Argos got to do with Ah, uh, no. August. I'm, August. I'm ja- August. There Sorry. you go. Sorry. I'm Jamaican. I'm, yeah, born J- I'm Jamaican British. I was born in Jamaica. So there you go. I have an accent. What? No problem. What? No problem. There you go. No, chill. 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 I'm chill. I'm Just nice. Chill. Right, okay. So I need after to fight. that. I haven't fought for eight months. Oh, no. Okay. All right. What's that? What are you doing? Fingers. No, I was wondering about you was doing that with your hands. Like, you're ready to go. Doing that. It's disgusting. <laughs> After that then, August, what? I want to get out at the end of September. You know what I mean? I don't, listen, I, I believe, me where I'm in my career, and I believe I've had enough learning fights now. You know what I mean? I've won, I've, I've gone one round, two rounds, six rounds, ten rounds and twelve rounds. You know what I mean? I've lost, I've come back. I'm ready now to start challenging these guys. So anyone that won it can have it. That's where I'm at. I'm ready to fight anyone. Everyone goes on about Cesaro. I agreed to fight Cesaro on the 1st of July here at the O2. Ark said the end. Really? Ark said the end. I agreed to fight Cesaro the rematch July 1st at the O2 here. Ark said the end. But I agree. I agree. I, I said to Eddie, go get Cesaro. Let's give the fans what they want. And then I don't know what happened. I agree. I said to Eddie, I can even show you text messages saying, boom. Get the Cesaro So what response did you have from Cesaro? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what went down. He says, he, he says, he threatened my life. He threatened my life. Eddie, I don't fight him again, Eddie. He threatened my life. If I go to fight him again, and I go to Disneyland with my children in the car. Eddie, no. I don't fight him again. No, Eddie. You have to pay me too much money. He threatened my life one more time, Eddie. I'm going to kill him. What if, what if, what if he comes to my car, Eddie? Cesar is a punk as well. You know, he's a punk. I got lost in that moment there. Um, so that's unrealistic for end of the year or the, the, the back end of 2017. Anything's possible, man. I just want to fight. Save me. I'm the only heavyweight out there that's willing to fight. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people think. I don't care. I, I just want to fight. I want to fight. Like, people talk crap. What people need to understand is, look at all these other guys and look at me. I want to fight. I'm willing to fight anyone. Luis Ortiz, I said I'll fight him. I'm ready to fight him. Joe Miller, I said I'll fight him. Cesaro, I said I'll fight him. Lucas Brown, I'll fight them. I'll fight Deontay Wilder. I'll fight Anthony Joshua. I'll fight Joseph Park. I'll fight all of these guys. I want to fight all of these guys, but they just got to make sense and make them happen at the right time and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Do you believe that you will fight for a world title this year? I... At one stage, I really did believe that it was going to go off this year. But... I don't know. Deontay's going to fight Stever and most likely he'll break his little paper hands again. And then he'll be out. Joseph Parker going to fight you if you... I don't know how that's going to go. You know, I don't know how that's going to go. So I don't know. I mean, great, great for us if Huey beats Joseph Parker for the whole UK setup of heavyweights. Yeah, it in sets that up, perspective. It sets up big fights it says the big fights in the UK it'd be great because Joseph Parker sucks and he's just keeping the belt in New Zealand and just sucking even more like, it's like the belt it, he just sucks you know he sold like 15,000 pay-per-view buys to his last fight he sucks he I sucks thought, I thought he was doing an impression then of Joseph Parker I was like don't even try that Australian he's not, he's not no he's not Australian he's, he's New, New Zealand. Zealand beg your pardon this is Joseph Parker impression uh, boring boring yeah, big problem about that, obviously from New Zealand, not Australia. That was my mistake. He's from Australia. Yeah. Where am like I from? Pakistan. Try again. Uzbekistan. Try again. Kurdistan. What other place begin with Stan? Afghanistan. None of them. Oh. You know where I'm from. Essex Stan? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
So you, you look at like a Pakistani to me. You look at the guy Rex in my local shop. You look like he's your brother or something. Yeah, but I bet he's not even Pakistani. I don't fucking do you, do you, know. He just looks know, like you. Do you know how politically incorrect you are? Do you know how, like, I'm not going to call you a racist. I'm not a racist. I'm not politically incorrect. I'm comfortable with what I am. And I'm comfortable, you know I'm com- I'm comfortable with my, with, you know I'm comfortable with my Sri Lankan yeah, no, brother. I'm comfortable as well. You know what would happen if I wasn't comfortable. What would happen? You know what would happen. What would happen? No, what, 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 what happened? Tell me, tell me what don't, happened. Don't, what happened? Move, move what your, happened? Move yourself back. What happened? I'll tell you if you move what yourself happened? back. Tell me, tell me. If you move back, tell I'll me. tell you. What happened? Dylan. What, what happened? Tell me. Listen, just what move, happened? move back huh? and I'll tell what, you. What happened, huh? What happened? Listen. Huh? What happened? <laughs> 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 you didn't hit the cook and hit the ground. Timber! Nah. Now listen, it's good to catch up with you. And good news that you're fighting in America because... You've not fought out there yet, and I think, I I, I think they'll love you in there, in, in Nebraska. I haven't fought for I ages. think when you leave, they'll build a statue of just corn. Just, just a, a corn a, yeah. a, a, Do you a remember, corn let's see your memories, yeah? What's the place in Nebraska remember where... Remember, I'm not your age, so the time is different. I'm younger than you, so... How old are you? I'm 29. How old are you? You're yeah, 45. No, I'm not 45. It's my oh, birthday 45, tomorrow, you know? Is it? Yeah. What, where are you, 46? No. Oh, you look a bit old. 36. Do you want to sing happy birthday to me? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the curry chaka. Happy birthday. Hey, are you going to have a curry flavoured cake? No. Why? Did you say birthday or birthday? <laughs> <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thanks. No, no, happy birthday, birthday to you, tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I might call you and sing to you. You can call me and sing to me. What, I'll put my what, Dark Vader mask on and sing what to you. What you got me? You want these trainers? They're real Shit. python skin, I'll get them to you. Yeah, what size are you? 11. Yeah, I can fit into an 11. That's what she said. Disgusting talk, disgusting talk. Um, have you got anything else you want to add? I just want to fight, man. I want to fight all of these guys. All of these guys, that's, you know, I want to fight all of these guys. I just want to, I just want to fight. I say, I just want to fight. I'm frustrated. I just want to fight. I just, just want to fight these guys, man. I want to give the fans. Listen, my fans and support have been supporting me through a hell of a lot. And they love it when I fight because it's an event. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it, it's always a big event when I fight because something always goes down. And when I get in the ring, I give it my all. I'm not those fighters that leave anything in the tank. I, I try and go the, the, the nine yards. You know what I mean? So I just want to just wanna fight, man. You know, I just want to fight. That's all. Let me, um, obviously, because I've interviewed him in America recently, and you might have seen it, with Bryant Jennings. He mm. had a few things to ask you about as in what happened to the potential fight you could have had with him have you got any response to any of this simple I was thinking about the Ryan Jennings fight it was one that was on the card and then Joseph Parker came into the picture and then Eddie's my promoter I'm a fighter I don't promote I train in a fight then Eddie said listen we're going to do this so we're going to do that and then I was like, uh, I would have loved to fight Brian James to shut him up because I believe he's a coward and he ain't got no heart, to be honest. You know what I mean? He's in great shape, he's fit and all of that, but he ain't got no heart. So I wanted that fight, but then Eddie's come to me and put a better deal to me, saying, listen, okay, we're going to get you out the 3rd of June. We're going to get the 3rd of June, and then you're going to fight Joseph Parker in September. That's what Eddie came and said to me. So I was like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm up for this. So the plan was to fight Wack and then fight Parker. And then obviously um, I injured my foot, etc, etc. Et and then Parker, because you pull out the Parker fight, so I thought I was going to get Parker. Then obviously Yui's come back now. And Parker saying, OK, he's going to fight Yui, etc, etc. Because Parker knows fighting me is a harder fight than him fighting Yui. He knows that. So I don't blame him. He would go down that route, but he will, he will get surprised. I think Yui would do better than he, he think. I think Yui would do better than Parker. I think Yui's going to do. But I don't blame him, man. I'm 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 trouble for these guys, you know. But they got to man up and fight. They just got to fight, you know. What I mean, you know, uh, when, when Foreman, when Ali, when Form, when Ali fought Foreman, everyone was saying to Ali, "Don't fought Foreman. He's gonna destroy you. You're too old. You should retire." And he went out there and destroyed Foreman. So I'm saying these guys, these guys don't want to fight, man. It's it's like when I speak about it, it breaks my heart that these other fellow heavyweights don't want to fight. You know, they don't want to fight. Why? Why is that? Maybe you're too scary, mate. I'm not scared, I'm just a normal sized black guy. I'm not even the biggest guy out there. Look, I'm a small guy, six foot three and a half, six four. I'm not I'm not a big guy, look. I'm not a big guy, look. What what are they scared of? What are they scared of? What the? 
I'm I'm uh, I'm getting in slightly better shape. I'm eating better. I'm training harder now. Yeah. What you, need, you know what you need to start doing. You need, I think it'd be Go a good straight, idea. Sending Briggs and guys, start no, running no, no, up no. You need them. to start putting up pictures of things you eat. Because have you thought about doing that? <laughs> chill out. Just chill out. Wherever. Chill out. Fight. Fight's happening. Fuck that guy that's coming as well, Tony Belly. Fuck him. Why? He's a fake heavyweight. I knew he was on the fight anyway. He just start shit. He doesn't want to fight anyone. Mm -hmm. Number one. All he wants to do is wait and fight David yeah, A and then run off into well. the night. Mm. Fuck AJ as well. He's a prick. Okay. What's, what, what's, I thought the belly thing had simmered down a bit. He ain't simmered down. Oh. Belly just starts shit. He doesn't want to fight. Fuck all of these guys, man. Just want to fight. Why don't they want to fight me? Why? I don't know. I don't Why know. don't they want to fight me? I don't know. Why? But to be fair, he did fight you, so... Yeah. yeah. He, he, he's the only one that's willing to fight. I'd be fair to him. He's the only one that's willing to fight. And I, and I, and I, and I want to fight. I want to fight him again. But at the minute, fighting him now... The only reason why I want to fight... The only reason I want to fight Joshua now is, yeah? It's as simple as this. If I fight him now, he holds all the cards. So... I'm not really bringing anything to the table apart from the fight and a grudge match, and then you winning a world title, going into that's, like that's the thing. Three belt. I win a world yeah. title. We do it big. That's big. We do it big, then that's massive. So this is a business as well. I'm ready to fight. I'll fight him tomorrow because we have that 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 we have that that flame between us that we just want to fight. You know what I mean? I'll fight he him tomorrow. He still wants the rematch, doesn't yeah, he? Of course he, he, he does. Openly. Of course yeah. he does. He I, I want the rematch too. I'm not hiding from the rematch. When he said it, I said I'm ready. I'm I'm ready, but. If, listen, if they come to me tomorrow and offer me a good deal and a good split, yeah. I'll fight him. I'll fight him straight away. I know we're a if, if the deal is good and the split's good, I'll fight him tomorrow. 100% I'll fight him tomorrow. But just now, if I fight him now, the split won't be good. Have you, um, have you, you you've not seen Belly on that out there? No. I'm just here to support my guys, man. Isaac Chamberlain, Craig Richards. Josh up, see, you know, and kind of Ben. I'm just here to support the boys, man. The younger generations that's coming up, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm quite close to them boys. We, have, you know, we chat and whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm just here to support them, man. I'm not, I'm not here for no beef today. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling today. Why are you, you giving know? it to me then if you're here for no beef? Because I never said I wasn't here for curry. I said I wasn't here for, for beef. Curry is a different story. All right? You're wrong. I always got space for curry. You're lucky anyway. Beef is, beef is quite heavy. When you eat beef, it sits in your stomach. But curry, I'm here for that. Anytime. You're lucky. You mean you're a pal. Anyway, that's Why? what I'm going to say. What are you going to do? Dylan, don't What are you going to do? Listen. I'll hold you and make love to you in this room. <laughs> and you won't do nothing apart from take it. You'll be like, no. Spit in it first. <laughs> you're disgusting. Is, no, listen, I was joking, but you are disgusting. <laughs> you're like, no, yeah. but so, for some lubrication first. You are disgusting. I'm, I, 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 this is my face. Look, look. Oh. This is my face. No, you're going to learn today. No lubricant. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, anyway. Well, on that note, I think we can end this interview. Mm. Uh, Dylan White, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. It's thank been an absolute much. pleasure. Thank and you very uh, much. We'll catch up with you soon. Thanks. The interview alone was worth Not coming. Too, though, what? So the interview alone was worth coming for tonight. It is, isn't it? Mm. So nice. it's good to catch up with Coogan, man. Yeah. So it's good. You know? So it's good. I've got no other mics. I've got no other last or nothing. I've got ever last. Yeah, but so it's so what's good. going on in here? All right. No problem. All right. Cheers. Guys. All right.